I've just had a delivery from Jackson's Art Supplies in the UK and I'm so excited to show you what I've got because I did one of these videos recently and you guys really liked it so I thought I'd make another one and I always get so excited about having deliveries so I thought I would share that with you today because I personally love watching videos like this not only does it give me a really good idea of what sort of art supplies there are out there but it also lets me have a really good idea of what supplies other people like and also I like to go from other people's reviews and recommendations because you always get a really honest review like that. I'm always going to just mention things on this channel that I use and love. I've got loads of art supplies in this house, in my garage, in my attic. I have got an obscene amount of art supplies. Some of them I don't like and some of them I do. So I'm only going to pick my favourites and I'm going to show you what I got from Jackson's Art Supplies today. So if you like this video, please give me a like. It helps my channel to grow. I'm quite a small channel. I'm a mum to four children making these videos in a very limited time that I've got. So I really enjoy making these videos for you. But just that little like will help this video to be found better and then my channel will grow so I can make more content for you. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get stuck straight in. All these items that you're seeing today I'll link in the description box below for you so there will be links that you can just click on and then it will take you straight to the item. The first thing I wanted to show you is this gorgeous paper block. I'm so excited to actually get this because this is a big paper block. I have got an A4 size arches block that I haven't even used. So I can't wait to start working on blocks because at the moment I tape my paper down and I think it would be so much easier just to work on a block because it keeps your paper so flat. So this one came highly recommended. I did have a little search online. This one is Canson Heritage. It's 100% cotton paper. I love 100% cotton paper. I got some amazing results on it. It's so much better to work on than wood pulp paper. So I would definitely recommend trying 100% cotton paper if you haven't already. This one is cold pressed. It's an A3 size. So this exact size is 12.2 by 16.1 inches and I thought the price was amazing for this you got 20 sheets and this was 42 pounds so I think I worked it out to be about two pounds 50 or something like that maybe I'm just just over two pounds anyway per sheet which I thought was absolutely amazing I will do a review and a painting demonstration on this paper in the future for you but this is supposed to be such gorgeous quality paper and I can't wait to try this out I also got one of my favorite papers because this was reduced so I think it was like nine pound thirty or something like that at the time this is a hundred and forty pound cold pressed paper and it's a4 size Again, it's 100% cotton paper, and I love this paper. I use this a lot. I also use this in A3 because I love it so much. This particular size is 21 by 29.7 centimeters, and you'll get 10 sheets in this. It does last me a long time, and for £9.30, I think you really can't go wrong. I think I usually pay about between 11 to £13 for a pad of paper like this, so I thought that was a steal. Then I decided to get this thing. So this is called a hike and I've never had one of these before, but actually I've read about these and they came highly recommended again. So these are good for getting down large washes. Um, I'm just peeling off the paper from the, the brush to show you how soft that is, how soft that is. It actually feels lovely quality and I didn't pay too much for this. I think this was about six pounds and for the size of the brush, I think that is such good value. Um, it is a hake brush, so you can use this for large washes and I think this would be lovely for landscapes. The reason why I'm pulling the brush is, is just to see if it melts and it's not melting. So I don't know what it's gonna be like when I actually use it. I will do a little review with this and let you know, but it feels nice quality. The end of it feels lovely and soft and good quality. And then the handle of it is a bit different. It's kind of like a square handle. So it's a bit different to what I'm used to. I'm used to rounded brushes. So it's not really the most comfortable brush to hold, compared to a round brush but it feels okay to hold and it's got a lovely long handle which I love in the description box it said this is ideal for watercolors because it holds lots of water so I can't wait to try this out and I will let you know what I think of it I also got some masking tape and I thought this is amazing value because normally the masking tape that I get from Amazon is probably about £2.45 for a roll and it's 
amazing masking tape. I will link my Amazon masking tape down below for you because I use it all the time. But I thought I would try this because this was £1.70 I think and I thought that was really good value. So this one is low tack paper masking tape and it's one inch size. It says it's got 50 meters in it as well. So I think this would go a really long way. And for £1.70, you really can't go wrong. I will do a review on this as well. I also got a new paint tube color. So this is Payne's Grey and it's by Winsor & Newton. And the reason why I've got this is because my Payne's Grey is running out and I always use the Winsor & Newton Cotman one. This one was really good value. I think this was on special offer at the time. So it was probably about £5 or £6, something like that. And I thought for a 21 mil tube, you really couldn't go wrong for that, that amount of money. I love using Cotman watercolours. I've been using them the whole time I've been painting and I've never had any issues with them. I always get beautiful results from using Cotman watercolours and I know a lot of artists that do as well. So I can't wait to pop this into my collection. The last thing I'm gonna show you, and this is probably the thing that I'm most excited about because I don't know what it is about brushes, but I get so excited about having new brushes. This one is a silver black velvet brush. I've got two brushes to show you. Um, this one is a silver black velvet, one inch, and it's an oval, a pointed oval wash brush. So this is something that I've had my eye on for such a long time, but they are a little bit pricey. I think this one was about £42, something like that. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, why spend £42 on a brush? But at the end of the day, if you have a hobby and you enjoy it and you get real enjoyment from things like this, then why not spend your hard earned money on things that bring you joy? And I know that this is definitely going to bring me joy. It's got a nice short handle, so it's not too long. It's really comfortable to hold. You can see that it tapers a little bit at the end, and then it goes a bit thicker in the middle. So it's a real joy to hold. And it's got a lovely big end to it. So I read the difference between flat washes and pointed oval washes brushes, because I wanted to get a flat brush, but then I wasn't sure if to get a pointed over one. What am I trying to say here? I, I didn't know which one was best to get, so I decided to get a nice affordable hake brush, which is large, that I can use on background washes and also pointed oval because I read lots of really good things about a pointed oval. They said that this is a really good brush for using on backgrounds and getting in large washes, but it's also good because it's pointed on the ends. You can get into really nice tight corners or fine details, which I do a lot. And I think I would benefit definitely from having this shaped brush with the subjects that I paint because I paint a lot of animals. So I'll do a review on this brush and you'll get to see me using this brush in a future video. And that video will be up very shortly. So subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from me. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is this gorgeous little brush. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I love silver black velvet brushes. They are my absolute favorite. They are not the cheapest brushes, but they are such amazing quality. They paint amazingly. They are so beautiful to hold. And honestly, I would rather pay a little bit extra on a good quality brush than have loads of brushes that are cheap but really don't work well for me and I can't get good results with them. So this one is a size two. It's a gorgeous little pointed brush. I thought this would be good for finer details. I pay probably about £26 for this. So like I said, not the cheapest of brushes, but beautiful quality, an absolute dream to work with and so comfortable to hold. I'm actually using this like, like it's a wand or a pencil. <laughs> it is so gorgeous. I just love the quality of silver black velvet brushes. I will rave about them so much because I've used so many brushes and these are honestly my favorite. So these are a mixture between fake squirrel hair and synthetic. So they are gorgeous quality. They've got the ability to hold a lot of water, but then they have the control of a synthetic brush. So that's why I like them. They are so lovely, honestly, and I probably will never stop talking about these brushes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments box below. If you got any of these supplies, are there any watercolor supplies that you suggest? Because I really love going off other people's recommendations. I'm so sorry if you can hear anything in the background. There is a helicopter flying over my house right now. Seriously? That is such bad timing. <laughs> 
have a lovely rest of your day happy painting and i'll see you in my next video bye